Oh, hi. Welcome back to another episode of Blacked Out Mentors and Paints. I'm Kevin again. Finally coming back. Had to take a week off with all this overtime we're working for the coronavirus, but we got a day off. We got a video knocked out and here to bring out some Katie and Guard. So we're painting these dudes up like the OG colors, um, the khaki and the green. I didn't even realize they came in this color. I've always painted them red and black. And here we are. We're finding stuff out. So let's go ahead and check them out. So we're going to start with Vallejo Gray Primer, and you're quickly going to remember why you hate priming things with gray or white. It sucks. It just, it's very finicky to say the least. Work through it. Next, we're coming through with Minotaur Bark. You could use a XV88. You could use a Mornfang Brown. You could use a Dryad Bark. Just some dark color is going to work out great. This is kind of an orangey brown. It's an interesting color. Honestly, these are just ready to go pre-mixed in the pot, so that's why I picked these. Next color is Minotaur Mummy. This is your Xandri Dust equivalent. So we're leaving the bark in the nice recesses, and then we're basically doing most of it in the Xandri Dust color, and then we're gonna bring it up in the next step to kinda pop some highlights. And finally, we're using Minotaur Ancient Bone. We're just working smaller and smaller top down. We want some of the highlights to get out there, but realistically, it's very, very minimal, so just be careful. So the next color we're coming through with is Castellan Green. We want to just make sure we hit his boots, his helmet, his shoulder pads, give it all the attention they deserve. It did take me two thin coats here because I am working relatively thin, so just make sure you get to full opacity. And then just be really careful not to jack up the previous layers of khaki and all the other paints that we used to build to that khaki. Alright, so we're going to start the process with going through an edge highlighting with your shabby bone. All we're really doing here is trying to pick out the high points, the folds in his pants, the folds in his shirts, um, any of the hard edges around his khaki uniform and his fatigues. So just take your time here. It's really a good match to that previous uh, ancient bone color. Like I said, pretty close match. So. Uh, while I've got you here watching me sit here in Edge Highlight, I just want to say thank you to everyone who keeps checking me out week after week. We're officially up to 50 subscribers, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, this is just completely unprecedented. I didn't expect this at all. I didn't expect to have any subscribers ever. And to have a little bit of a following really, really helps out. So, thank you all. Alright, on to the next color. So the next color we're coming through with is Abaddon Black. We're going to go ahead and hit the back of his neck there, where there's that crease between his helmet and his shoulder pads. We're also going to go ahead and base coat his grenades in the black and the barrel of his weapon in the black. We're also going to hit the uh, belt while we're at it. So next we're coming through with Vallejo Metal Color Silver. I wanted it to be a bright one again. You know, this is a trooper that's supposed to be sitting there polishing his gear, having everything square biz all day. So he should be able to have a nice polished silver weapon. Um, again, we're coming over top of this black that I laid down in the last step. It really does create a better effect, even over these grenades. I didn't come through and paint those black like I was supposed to, and it, it kind of left a weird tinge to it. I had to do a second coat to get it to full opacity. For whatever reason, black is just the best color to use as your undercoat. So to go ahead and start working on his flesh, we're going to come out with uh, Cadian Flesh Tone. Again, I've talked about this before. I do not like Bugman's Glow. I think it's completely a waste of a step. So we start out with Cadian Flesh Tone. We're going to go ahead and knock out his hands. Be real careful around his helmet just to make sure that we don't jack any of that up. And lay a nice layer over. This will take two. It's just such a thin color. It's a layer paint. So just take your time. Put two coats down. And then when you're ready, we'll come back and shade it up. So the next color I came through with was Team Yankees Maverick Khaki in Castellan Green. Honestly, I've never used this. It's not that great of a paint. Um, it's a little thin, it's a little watery, but the freaking paint bottle is shaped like a rifle cartridge. I'm painting a freaking army dude. We have to have, use our paint that's, you know, shaped like a freaking rifle cartridge. So what we did was we mixed one to one and we're just going through and doing a little bit of edge highlighting throughout it, hitting some of the high points on his boots, his shoulder pads, his helmets, where light's gonna hit the most. So 
So next we added a little bit more of the Team Yankee to the Castell and Green to about a 2 to 1 consistency. All we're trying to do here is take our previously highlighted layer and just highlight a smaller portion of it just to push that highlight further without it making it a real stark transition. We're also hedge, edge highlighting the gun while we're at that. So just take your time. Edge highlighting sucks, but it does create such a better effect in the long run. It's, it's worth it. You know, for, for massive, massive armies, no, not super worth it. Just get your primary colors down and go. But if you want a nice piece, definitely worth the time. Alright, so the next color we're coming through with is Celestial Gray. We're just hitting the little skull and wings on his rifle there, also the one on his helmet. The way this model is sculpted, there's one on his chest you really can't get to, and honestly, eh, not worth it, not worth its time. So, just go ahead and hit those two, we'll come back and uh, shade it up here in a bit, and it'll look its best. Okay, so to start our washes off, we're coming through with Reichland Flesh Shade, and we do have this thinned down. That way it doesn't create just ridiculously stark contrast lines between the creases and the highlights. So get his hands and get his face on this one. Next, we're coming through with Known Oil Gloss. All we're doing is hitting the metal bits on him and then the things we painted Celestial Gray earlier. So the final one we're coming through with is the Agrax Earthshade. When I was looking at his green armor, I was just really unimpressed with it. I wanted to go ahead and push it a, a step further. So I went ahead and just gave it a wash with the Agrax Earthshade. It really did take it to the next step that I needed it to be. I was trying to do it without any washes on the armor, but it, it needed it. So just go ahead and lay this down and it's going to create just a world of difference for you. So, because we worked really thin with the Reckon Flesh Shade, we don't even have to bring it back to the Cadient Flesh Tone base. We went ahead and mixed in Cadian Flesh Tone and Keeves of Flesh one to one and started our highlight process here. It, it actually turned out really well. I was expecting to have to go to Cadian Flesh Tone, but when I started with it, it, it wasn't required. It just didn't tint the surface enough. So, just take your time, hit all the race points on his face and hands, and it'll be great. Alright, so next we went ahead and moved to Kiesler Flesh. Um, here we're just hitting the knuckles, any of the high points on his hands, high points on his face, the tip of his nose, anywhere where the light is going to be the most concentrated and the brightest on his flesh if you were to look at this actually in person in nature. So just work around there and look for what needs to highlight. I also hit the top of his bottom lip while I was at it, just created that extra little bit of effect. So the next color we came through with was Ceramite White. Here we're just going to go ahead and highlight the top of the skull and wings on his gun. We're going to do the same thing with his helmet. And then we're going to go ahead and lay down the base color for his eyeballs, which that was a trick to get on camera. Hopefully it turned out. I hadn't been able to see the full HD quality yet, but I'm, I'm hoping. Um, here, just make sure you brace your hands really tight together. That way you have as much control over that paintbrush as possible. If you're trying to do it really far away, real loosey-goosey, you may jack it up. So just take your time. And then finally, we're coming through with Team Yankee, Maverick Khaki again. Here we're just doing the final edge highlights that got a little bit too matted down with the Agrax Earthshade. You don't have to do any of these highlighting steps. It's really not required especially if you're doing a million of these guys um, my buddy who gave these to me he said hey paint them up paint them up nice i'm gonna turn around and sell them so he wants them painted up to a higher standard otherwise it would be three pa three paints and told it to kick rocks so all right guys so here's our finished product i really i'm really stoked about the way these turned out the uh, workup with my Minotaur paint did very well. Again, you can use GW paint for everything I did here. It's just a ready to go pre-mixed airbrush paint that I have. So love the way these turned out. Hope you all do too. Again, thanks for checking me out week after week. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to bring any content last week. Unfortunately, with all this coronavirus stuff, being a first responder, it's just not something that I have that much extra time right now. So we're working on it, you know, whenever I get a chance, I try and put one together. That way I can bring something to y'all, keep y'all engaged. So again, thanks for checking me out. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really is awesome to see some comments coming in, get a little bit of engagement from you guys. I really appreciate it. So as always, my name's Kevin with Black Dot Miniatures and Paints. We'll see y'all next time. Bye for now.